going to go ahead and recharge my energy in my suit now because I have the reactor on board along with the uranium. My fuel time when it's not doing anything is 143 years. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I, I am okay with that. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go to shift two. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, showcase a little bit of the conveyor system now. So I need a small conveyor. Um, I, I am also going to need a large conveyor. And I'm going to need the tubes um, for the large conveyor system as well. So the small conveyors are only available to you on the small ship. The large conveyor is going to be available to you everywhere. I can put the large conveyor on the small ship, the large ship, whatever it is. Some blocks you'll notice are not available for you on the station or the large ship, like the small blocks are not available to you. The reason, um, I know that the drills that I'm going to put onto the ship here in a moment, the large drills I'm going to use, they must have the large conveyors. And so you'll notice that my, con uh, my reactors here, they use the small conveyors. And so I'm going to have to have a way to kind of interface those two things together. I'm going to have to be able to place the, the, the large conveyors and the small conveyors and have them all work together. And we're going to do that like this. So um, this is my reactor in there, you see. This is the small conveyor. So I'm going to go ahead and cadet attach the small conveyor to the reactor, and now I'm going to build him. So now this conveyor is smart. He's the item that is going to move things, shuffle things around. So anytime I put into a cargo container on my small ship the uranium, it's going to automatically shift that uranium into one of the reactors. And I like that very much. Now, as I told you, we're actually going to build a couple more of the reactors because the small reactors are a little, are a little iffy. Um, now, the, the thing to note is that I have to take this little window and face it into the conveyor. So I have to have it kind of face like that. And now on this side right here, I'm going to have to do the same thing. So I need to rotate this block around until they face into the conveyor. There we go. So now we can finish. Maybe we can finish. I don't have enough of the large tubes. Um, I need some more of the large steel tubes. So we go get some of those now. I don't think I need anything else while I'm over here. I don't think I do. We'll just move as many of those tubes. I can carry, I'll tell you what, we'll carry 15 of them exactly. So I'll move one of them back over here. There we go. Uh, so now let's go back to our budding little ship right here. Here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that reactor. And now I'm going to finish this reactor up here. And so now I have three of the reactors online. They're all connected together based on that small conveyor right there, which I'm very happy about. And now um, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take just a little bit more. Um, actually, I'm not sure that I can really move things around at this point. I'm not, I'm not sure that I can do that. So we'll leave him alone. We stop doing that. Um, where's your other window? You don't have another window. Okay, well, that is in there. Whatever. <laughs> Okie dokie. So on the, now on the sides of the ship, like I told you a moment ago, it's on the sides of the ship is where I want the drills. And I need to have some clearance, meaning I, I don't really want the drills to be just alongside of my, um, of my, of my uh, cockpit right here. So what I'm going to do is, is in order to connect some things together, the small and the large conveyors, we're going to go back out here. And I'm now going to go back into, in, I'm just going to search conveyor so I can get into this window, conveyor. Um, so this is a small conveyor tube, which is different from the large conveyor tubes. And, and there are certain things that actually cannot move through the small conveyor tubes. So I, I kind of limit what I do with them. Now, fortunately, uranium is fine. And I can go ahead and stack these things kind of on the interior of my ship by, um, by, by using these small tubes. And I only want the reactors to be in the middle there. And I'm only moving the uranium, which is fine. So I take the tube like that on either side of the conveyor. And there we go. And now we just finish him up real quick. We build that tube. Now, he's not going into anything, so he's not very happy right now. You'll notice this little red light. That means something is wrong in the system. It does not connect it together. Um, we will see that change here in just a moment. So now, in, instead here on the outside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a large conveyor. And you notice that it has big windows, but also here at the top, it has some of the small windows as well. So this large conveyor, when I place it on a small ship, is going to kind of interface between everything, which is really what I want. So now what I want to do is rotate this guy around a little bit so that when I place him against that small tube, he's, he's going to actually have... Um, you know, a way to, for that tube to work with the conveyor. So now if I rotate him around, you'll notice it's going up and down. It seems like both sides are fine. So I'm going to place that conveyor right there in the middle so that tube is going to go ahead and work. Now over here on this side, oh, I placed him wrong. Oh my goodness, I placed him wrong. I'm sorry about that. Uh, tell you what, maybe not. Maybe not. We leave him there. We see how that work out. We see how this. I tell you what, we build this side right now then. We see how this work out. I may have placed him incorrectly, but ultimately maybe this do better. 
So there we go. We see that the small conveyor tube is now feeding into the large conveyor, and now he has turned yellow. That means that the circuit is fine, that it is complete, and it will work, which is what I was interested in. Now here is my large conveyor right there. Um, on, onto this conveyor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a conveyor tube, just like that. And the reason I do this is because I don't want to drill right alongside my cockpit. I need to have some clearance, so I put the tube right here. Same thing, this time we make the tube. You see that the red right there tells me that he, he is not okay, he's not completed with everything. Well, that is just kind of fine. We knew that that was the case in the first place. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to put a drill on this guy. We need to get us a drill, so here we go. Um, now, as you notice, the drill is going to be using the small conveyor tubes, and that is fine. I didn't remember that. I thought that the drill... Oh, I know what I was thinking about. I know what I was thinking about. You cannot just not only have mining ships, but you can also have grinding ships too, and you can have welding ships. And, and I was going to build this like a, something different. You see that this guy, he absolutely needs to have the large window. He needs to have the large window on him. I was going to build... Oh, oh my goodness, so embarrassing. We go back and we get a drill. We go back and we get a drill. Well, this makes it a little bit easier to deal with now. I'm going to grind that guy away, and I'm going to grind this guy away. I don't need him. Uh, what I do need, though, is uh, the cargo containers. So let's, instead of doing that, let's go back here. We shall go... Now, I don't want a small cargo container. This time I want... Uh, yeah, we'll get that large cargo container. That's fine. We'll take a large one. Move him down here. There. So how big is the large container on the side of the ship? Oh, that might be too big. Oh, that may actually be too big. Okay, I tell you what, instead of the large one, we go ahead and do the medium container. Let's get the medium cargo container. Medium cargo, merge block, there's a medium container, we get him. Okay, so how's, oh, that's much better. Okay, so this is, this is much better. I tell you what, what we do is we place this cargo container here on the outside. We place this on the outside, and now I think if I have measured this right, we'll make sure that on the front here, this is going to be okay. Yeah, so here's the small window that we was interested in. There's the small window. And now here on the back, um, because I had the small conveyor there, I can go ahead and I can um, put a small uh, conveyor right there, and now I can have a tube that's going to hook up. There we go. There, good. So now we'll be pulling from the back of this guy. Now in the small, the small conveyor, you have to either use a conveyor or straight tube. There's not a turn. You don't have a pipe that turns things around, which is okay. That's fine. Okay, then. So here we go. We have the large container over there. I almost wonder if I want to change this around a little bit. Yeah, we go with this. We're already halfway done. We're already halfway done. On this side, I do the same thing um, with the container, except I missed him, misplaced him, which is not okay. We place him just like that. And now uh, go ahead and finish this guy. On the back of him, what we will do on the back of him is, again, we're going to put uh, the conveyor, and then we're going to put the tube them together, put them together, now they should turn yellow, good. So now I have the two separate containers here on the sides, and they're going to open into the top and bottom. If I want to access them, I now have access into those ta cargo containers. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now, now, what do I want to do? I need to put on a drill. I need to put on a drill. Let's see what our clearance looks like here. So if I put the drill on the front of him, um, that clearance looks like it's okay. Yeah, I think that clearance is okay. What we might do, though, what I might do, though, is I might put one of these little conveyors right here. I'll show you why I do that in just a moment. We might put the conveyors right here. If you're screaming at me on YouTube because you think there is a better way to do this, I agree with you. You're probably right. <laughs> you are probably right. There probably is a better way to do this, but we're going to leave it like this for right now. Okay, so I, I want this drill. Um, I'm going to put the drill on the end of the conveyor right there. I'm actually going to flip the drill like this so he is up and down. Uh, you know, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I leave him like that. So let's see what all we need on this uh, on this big boy drill right here. Oh, I can go ahead and complete him. Good. Now you'll notice that this drill is considerably bigger than the, the little hand drill that, that we have. <laughs> He's a lot bigger. That's a good upgrade, I think. Uh, let's come back over here. Let's put a second drill onto this side of the ship right here. Did I leave him left and right? Yes, I did leave him left and right. There you go. Now, this is where I'm going to get maybe just a little bit creative. I don't want to just have... Um, you know what? I did change my mind. Sorry. I changed my mind. You have to deal with me for a minute. 
you have to deal with me for a minute. Okay, so we wants to drill, but I want to drill to be up and not that way. I want to go up and down. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oops. There we go. Sorry, I was thinking ahead of what I wanted. I do want the drills to go up and down this way. Okay, there we go. Good. Now, what I what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to add some of these little conveyor tubes. We're going to run them up. I could do it off of the drill, but uh, experience tells me that is maybe not a good thing. So <laughs> we're, not, we're not going to do that right now. Um, up here into the top is is what I is what I want it to do. So right there, it needs to be a conveyor, and now I think that I should be able to place um, the tubes going across as long as I can rotate him around. And uh, yeah, that is the case. Right here in the middle, we are going to put another conveyor. Conveyor here on the corner, and now a uh, tube in between those two things to connect together. So now we're just going to go through and do a lot of welding here real fast. You make a tube, 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 conveyor. Tube, tube, conveyor. If, in case you're wondering, this is why I turned the welding speed up at the beginning of this, because otherwise this would be some very boring work. Okay, conveyor, I am missing... Okay, I need a motor. So let's go over here, get the motor. I'm only at 22% energies, um, so I'm also going to need uh, to be aware of that here in the very near future. I don't have anything being produced. Let's produce uh, maybe 20 of the motors. Now let's make 100 more of those construction components and let's start making these other things as well. Okay, so let's go get the motor. We put the motor over here. I go back and let's... I need to finish the welding of this guy right here. You notice that my energy just turned red, letting me know that I'm very low on energy and we sit. Okay, so let's see what we have built so far on our ship. We have the, the front. We have the mining kind of portion of it done. Um, I need to be aware of how I'm going to do the thrusters on this guy because I have to be able to move the ship around. Um, I've got to be able to move him and fly him, and so we'll do the thruster thing, I think, in a moment here, and that's okay. Um, and now what I want here, if, in case you haven't guessed, what I want on the front of this is, is the other drill, except we're going to turn the drill, rotate him so that he faces down like that. Good. And now I want to do the same thing uh, here on the bottom. So we are going to go get, I think... Another one of these conveyor tubes for right here. We rotate him around a little bit, I think. Yep, and now, now that I have him facing that way, we do the same thing. Let's get the conveyor right there and the conveyor right here. Good, and now I need to have some of the tubes in between of these things. Uh, now. now, this is something, and I'm going to spend a moment, I'm actually going to weld these items together, and then I'm going to spend a moment talking about this. So, you see that I have some of my, my armor plating in the way, and if I go ahead and break this block right here, then my ship is going to start floating away, <laughs> and that is not something that we want. There's no engines on the ship, so because there's no engines, there's, there's nothing to hold it steady, there's no inertial dampener. So he's just going to float away if I break this particular block right there. So we are not going to do that. Um, I don't feel like having that kind of panic on camera. What we're going to do is we're going to come back here behind this thing and we're just going to put a second row of blocks. And now even with that, even with that, even with that, we're still going to go and do this just to be ultra careful, okay? So I don't need this guy um, right here anymore, but now I'm still locked on, which is good. Um, these are what I really want to get rid of right here. And I need to get rid of them because I, I need to place the things underneath that. So this needs to be a conveyor block. You need to be a tube and a tube. We finished the conveyor. And now my tube. And you see that they start to turn yellow. Everything lights up. So now I, ba I, I just essentially have this little square going on here. I have this little square. And that is pretty good. It occurs to me as I look at this that I, I just came up with kind of a new idea that I could use around that square, but uh, I tell you what, for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to finish my drills so that I have four of the drills. Now, I want to point out that early on in the game, I, I have not been at this for very long. You know, this was just started today. I have not been at this for very long. And already, you know, a couple hours in, I have the ability, what am I missing? Steel tubes. Um, already, I have the ability to build a fairly advanced mining ship. You know, it is a small ship, and so maybe it's not going to give me a whole lot of the things. But it is reasonably advanced. Now, I already have four of the drills, so we have not put a lot of effort into this. And already, we're getting kind of things out. You know what? I'm going to build 12 more of these uh, little things. Actually, I tell you what. We're going to build 20 of them. Um, 
one thing on a ship, because we're going to have to start thinking about the thrust and how to move our, our guy around. Now that we have the storage taken care of, the energy taken care of, now that we have our cockpit taken care of, what we need to start thinking about is um, how we're going to actually move this guy, how, how we move him around. That is, that is the, next, the next thought. So, um, I am, I think, going to here in the drills, because this is a, a nice feature to have, and I, I've learned this kind of through trial and error. Um, the drills, it, it is kind of easy to shear them off. And this is also going to give us a chance to go looking here at, at, at the color schemes and how I can do different things with the ship. So um, for this guy, um, I think we'll just keep him in grayscale for right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place some of these armor blocks. Um, and I'm, I'm going to place those armor blocks so that I cannot just shear my drills off. And, and this is how you get all of these cool looking things here in the space engineers with these blocks, just like that, just like this. Now this is going to add a little bit of, of weight to your, uh, to your ship, and, and honestly that is a, not a huge concern with a, a small ship. I'm just placing light armor blocks onto this guy, so it's not a, not a huge concern with him. Now one thing I would advise, if possible, I would like to try and keep all of my things inside of the drill. Now that's not possible right here, but just long term on your ship it's going to be easier if you can do that. Now uh, uh, early in the game I'm not so concerned with it, I'm not so worried about it. Um, but the, it's just a thought, it is a thought. To have so um, now we come over here to this side we go ahead and in case I haven't said it already you use uh, the, the little the, the insert the delete the home keys those kind of things to go ahead and, and move my blocks to shake uh, to shift them around like I'm doing here so whoops well I guess that's kind of okay you can stay in there maybe we'll come back to you okay then so uh, one thing that I do want and one thing that I'm going to put at, at periodic intervals is um, a spotlight I'm going to actually start a, a new layer here for the spotlight I think I can just find it yeah there's a spotlight if I'm going to go mining I'm probably going to be on the backside of some asteroids and if I'm going to be on the backside of some asteroids I need to be able to see <laughs> it sounds like common sense but you would be amazed I cannot see if I don't have the spotlight. So I'm going to start putting on the spotlights here onto my ship. There we go. So right here uh, is going to be another spotlight. You can complete, you fix. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, you know what else I think we do? Do a little bit of welding here right now. A little bit of the welding right now little bit of the welding right now. So while I'm doing this, I hope you have enjoyed kind of the intro. So we're, we're kind of getting out of the basics now, and we're actually getting into the actual, um, the actual play of the game a little bit. And, and that's what we, we really hear is what we are doing right now, is, is we're building our first ship. And um, in building our first ship, we're actually going to get ourselves the ability to play the game. Um, and I'm, I'm purposely doing this ship for you because... It, it, there, I mean, there are some essentials, and I can tell you the essentials to the ship. And you just see me uh, f uh, spit something out into space there, which is why I say you have to be very aware. Um, but on the ship itself, it's not always obvious that the things that you need, especially within the conveyor system, especially within the lights. Um, you know, the thrusters are fairly straightforward, so I'm not worried about that. But the, the lighting and that kind of thing is, is something that is, is maybe not so straightforward. So I tell you what, I think I'm starting to get a little long on this episode. So I'm going to cut this off halfway through. Um, actually, I, tell you, I, I will finish my little line. Nah, we'll do that next time. Um, I'm going to go and get my energies replaced, and then we'll come back and we're going to finish our ship in the next episode. In doing that, the other basics I'm going to show you is how to create block groups and how to assign things uh, 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 once you're actually inside a ship, once you assign things to your toolbar. If you look at my toolbar right now, it is empty. That is because I am uh, accessing into the station, and I can do different things when I am accessing a station or a ship than I can when it's just me personally floating around. So, so yeah, here we go. Uh, as always, thank you very much for, for the watching. I, I appreciate you being here, and hopefully I see you in the next episode.